The FBI now believes the massacre in San Bernardino was an act of foreign-inspired terrorism. Shortly before Saeed Farouk and his wife, Tashfeen Malik, opened fire, Malik took to her Facebook page to pledge her allegiance to ISIS in Syria. A federal law enforcement source tells CBS News this is a photo of Malik, the photo that they are working with. It is the first picture that we have seen of her. The attack left 14 people dead. They were among about 80 San Bernardino County Health Department workers who were holding a holiday celebration. Homeland Security correspondent Jeff Pegues begins our coverage. Sources tell CBS News Malik's Facebook post pledged her allegiance to ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. The post was in English and issued under a different name. FBI Director James Comey. The investigation so far has developed indications of radicalization by the killers and of a potential uh, inspiration by foreign terrorist organizations. Investigators have recovered computers, thumb drives, and other electronic media from the home where Malik and her husband, Syed Farouk, live with their six-month-old daughter. Perhaps the most important find, two cell phones discovered in a garbage dumpster. Digital FBI camera. Assistant Director example, David Bowditz says both phones were phones damaged deliberately. Those cell phones were, were uh, actually crushed. We have retained those cell phones, and we do continue to exploit the data from those cell phones. So far, investigators have no evidence that the shooting was directed by ISIS leaders, nor do they currently believe Farouk and Malik were part of a larger terror network, although Farouk did communicate with at least one person in the U.S. and on an FBI watch list. There were no contacts between either of the killers and subjects of our investigations that were of such a significance that it raised these killers up onto our radar screen. Farouk was a U.S. citizen and Malik was Pakistani living in Saudi Arabia when they met online and married in 2014. Rand Townsend is a former Homeland Security advisor to President George W. Bush. Is there a possibility here that she radicalized her husband? Absolutely. You'll be looking for, did she have more of the connections? Did she show more of an interest in Islamic extremism or did he? Today, an ISIS-affiliated website claimed the San Bernardino attack was carried out by ISIS supporters. Scott, that is a possible indication the plot was inspired rather than directed by the terror group. Jeff Pegues for us in our Washington newsroom. Thanks, Jeff.